In fact, I myself didn't know that writing itself can be taught. I thought we have to have some sort of raw talent within ourselves. Because writing skill itself is not only encompasses writing skill, it encompasses a bit of thinking. You need to think before you can write. So you're, you're actually, actually nurturing your thinking skill at the same time. Optimists always believe that when one door closes, another opens. That was the situation which Catherine found herself in 2002. When I was in media before, um, I was um, in charge of two magazines and their business breakthroughs and um, sort of featuring business people. And I always try to get the people angle to every story that I, um, I write or I interview people on. What makes a person think? So that's how I work when I work with my children, with uh, basically my client. It's the why question that you ask. Why um, do you do this? Okay. I mean, why do you write this? Why do you have this idea? And so you encourage people to talk. And when they talk, ideas come out. So without really Realizing, um, you know, without really realizing it, they actually have the ideas right there in the middle, right? And you develop those ideas, you help them to develop. Catherine soon learned that her business of teaching creative writing gave her more than just a full-time job. The Young Author Scheme went beyond initiating ideas and improving writing skills. When you start writing a story, oftentimes this is a journey into yourself. The path of discovery is important. Explore yourself, explore your feelings. It helps you to understand your feelings, it helps you to write your feelings. And if it's something like a book that has a lot of emotions, then people will understand what kind of person you are. An aspiration is our greatest source of motivation. It is what keeps us striving for that elusive dream. I want to become a scientist when I grow up. I would like to be a politician when I grow up, a childcare teacher. So what we start off with is a lot of motivation. Now, you start off 300 words, can you do it? Okay, and uh, each child will give you that blank stare. <sighs> My God, you know, um, 300 words, she mad. You know, I'm going to write 3,000 words. I think her stress is really on allowing the child to be themselves and to be creative. I think it was the more organized approach to writing. What the course taught her is very focused. Every now and then when she come back from the, the after the lesson, she comes back and she would just input. Because what she learned from Catherine the, during the lesson was any idea, anything that come into your mind, you just put it in. So she did. And uh, she came up to about 7,000 words. And that is something I don't think I can do as a parent. It's very difficult to penetrate into the, the, the market because it's something new. And I think most people do not believe that you can, you can teach people how to write. Because they thought it has to be something inborn. When every parent calls or um, whoever wants to sign up, I always tell them, your child must want to do it. So I had this parent who um, insists that the child is ready and she brought the child down to see me and I told her it's better not, your, he doesn't seem to ready but she insisted and he came in and yes he did write but ultimately um, the parent ended up writing for the child.